What's going on, everybody? And welcome to Half-Life. Now you say, whoa, Sorv, you're playing Half-Life? I didn't know you did shooters on this channel. Well, I love Half-Life. I've said this many times in my videos. And I have, I have been ranting and raving about Half-Life 3. And I am convinced that this year is the year that we're going to see this game, Half-Life 3. And... Because of that, I am going to begin a playthrough of Half-Life, Half-Life uh, Opposing Force, Half-Life Blue Shift, and Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, and Half-Life 2 Episode 2, and maybe I'll do the Lost Coast. But, uh, yeah, this, this definitely has to happen. So I'm going to let you enjoy the introduction, even though you've seen it a thousand times. After I change the uh, mouse sensitivity, that's important. Just gonna turn it up a little bit, apply, and there we go. This is also gonna look really good because, oh wait, you know what? I think I need to turn up the graphics. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean the game's over, tw uh, you know, 13 years old, so it should run well on this system. But yeah. We'll just uh, enjoy the uh, introduction. Yeah, look how fast it loads. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'll be back uh, when the intro is over. And have fun. That's a big missile. You must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing that is a big missile. before you will be permitted into the high security branch. Oh, yes. It's having a little peach passion, don't remind me. That's awesome. I love this game, man. And I'm pretty good at it, too. Not just the puzzle solving, but uh, the shooting. It's like, Sorv, I don't think I've ever seen you shoot before. Doing doing shooter. Well, today is your lucky day. <laughs> oh yeah. Inside the train at all times. Yeah, hanging my arm out. Ah, whoa. That was close. I'm gonna end up being a handicapped guy. At the station platform. In the event. I like this. You go forward. You go. Ah, ooh. Ah. <laughs> Doesn't move. Chopper. You know, now that I make games like this, or can make games like this, this is so cheap, it's such a simple effect, but it's the design of it, you know? Everything about it is just awesome. And this defined FPS games when it when it came out. It was like, what the heck is this? Uh, you know, with the military, with the science, and the aliens, and, and the shooting, and everything about it is just really cool. And yeah. I just, uh, oh, I forgot to see the little little spark that comes out of there when the tracks connect. Is it still doing it? Maybe it'll do it. A uh, little Z fighting going on. That's okay. These things happen. Loading. And, beep. And it's ready. <laughs> That's good. Subject Golden Freeman, male, age 27. He's 40 now, by the way, or 41. Gordon's getting old. Getting too old for this. Hey, that might actually be uh, incorporated into the story. So, yeah, there it's sparking. That might be incorporated into the story. Half Life Three is like Gordon's getting too old, so he's got to have his kid or something do the do the job of containing the problem. Oh, that's good. I like that tea. Now we get to see the awesome sauce robot. Oh, yeah. You know, it's funny, too, because you really don't see uh, a lot of this go on. Half-Life is a cool game, but it's like, how do you let's play? Now, we know there's Freeman's Mind. Um, but that's good. That's, I'll, I'll be finished with this series before Ross Scott finishes Freeman's Mind, and that's been going on for, like, five years now. He's finally made it to the Lambda Core, or the Lambda Complex, but uh, that's it. That's <laughs> That's as far as it is. It's episode 53. So, uh, 
Ugh. Always itching. They did enhance this a little bit since it was originally released. And uh, so that's cool. Oh, there he is. There's the G-Man. And Dr. Kleiner. And the H on the train. Of course, there's probably an H on this train. That's probably not significant at all. But, you know. You never know with these guys. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. And we're at Sector C. Come on, Barney. Let me out. I want to get on it. I was going to do this as a speed run originally, but if I do that, the series will end long before Half-Life 3 ever is released. So, you know, we can't do that. Be sure to check your area for personal I love this game. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive Don't day. mind if I do. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're yeah, out. yeah, I know. Yeah, see, they upgraded the graphics, too. This is more like Black Mesa, which was the, the updated version. This is like uh, the original Half-Life, but... Yeah, see, it looks... Uh, what's up, Barney? <laughs> Open the diggity dang door. I would say there's jump scares in this, and there is, but I mo I know where most of them are. I am playing on medium though, so I'll take more damage. I don't like playing on hard because you take too much damage, and you can't really enjoy it because you die a lot. And this game is about quick reaction and shooting a lot. Not like Borderlands. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> what up, Calhoun? Hey, you're looking pretty sharp. I can actually read your uh, security badge. Not bad. I don't know what he does out there, because he shuts himself out. There we go. Anomalous materials. Oh, yeah. Open up. Yeah. What's up, guys? Whee! Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of Guess what I'm gonna do? <laughs> you have to, man. You have to. <laughs> And now Matt's research. All right. Why is that so blurry? Huh. Ah, hello. What's up? I gotta go get my uh, my suit on. Hello. Hello. <laughs> get out of here. Greetings. Uh, yes. The infamous um, lunch in the microwave explosion. And you failed. Both of the simulation results are perfectly acceptable. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. Science and stuff. Ah, it's good to see you. Really? Because you know this is my first day. Now, where did I? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? <laughs> so what? Why do we all have? To all right, you're st obviously you didn't get enough sleep last night. Come on, open up. There it is. See, that's what I mean when I said he's getting too old. He's got to have his kid do it because he's got a picture of a kid in there. All oh, very telling. We got the post-it notes, which are technically on backwards. The the back of the post-it note usually looks like that. This I can't read. I think it's a safety certificate. I'm not sure. It's got his thermos. We got the third mandala, the thirty seventh mandala, and the orchard eater. Orchid eater. I can't read, man. And I don't know what that is. I hope those containment parameters are still not. Gee, I do too. I wish I could read these. I know in one of the versions you can actually read those things. I mean, they they updated some of the stuff, but not everything. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and get on the old hazard suit. Oh yeah. <laughs> get a little bit of. Oh yeah, they added the BGM too, which is cool. I wonder if I should run that test again. Anybody in here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're having a dance party in the locker room. <laughs> Party's over. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yes. Yes, man. Yes, it looks phenomenal. <laughs> Come on, I want to shoot stuff. Open the door. I've got to go 
will cause a catastrophe today. Ha ha ha. Greetings to you too, you spaz. Ah, 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 there we go. He's like, greetings. <laughs> Another reason I loved this game. The glitches were so most epically excellent. I think I'm going to take the stairs. Because you know what's funny is, when you go down this, uh, when you come back here, uh, after the, the problem, that elevator is actually up there. So I'm going to leave it there. What's up, guys? Just chilling like a villain. Lasers on the wall. Very dangerous. Hey. Yeah, I know. And continuing forward. Loading. Hey. Yeah, brief me. Hello. Ah, Gordon. Yeah, you What's are. Kleiner? We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted what? the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of the Yeah, the administrator. Sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. There's another thing that happens while I'm in the test chamber that proves that you're not actually Gordon Freeman. Because while you're in there, if you listen to the audio long enough, uh, somebody comes over the loudspeaker and says, What is he doing in there? And the guy says, Nothing. You need to worry about Gordon. There's Kleiner. And this is Kleiner and, uh, and uh, the, the other guy. What the heck is his name? Anyway... These are the guys that end up in Half-Life 2 and get a serious graphics overhaul. <laughs> but they gave him the wrong face. Vance, Eli, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's, uh... Vance and Kleiner. Open the door! There we go. Now it's time for disaster! Oh, yeah. Voices. We'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. Get over there, open it up. This is a rare opportunity for us. There you go. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unsafe. There you go. Now, now, if you follow yeah, standard uh, where are you going? procedures, everything will be fine. There you go. How you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance... Get going, get going. Go, 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 go. Doesn't need to I'm helping you, there you go. Trained professional. We have a short we get him closer to the thing will go wrong. Ah, yes, you're right. There, you get him closer to the things. There we go. <laughs> Good job. Oh boy, it's it's my toy. I'm back, baby. I'll let you hear the audio too while I'm doing this. Nothing you need to worry about, Gordon. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. <laughs> Testing. Everything seems to be in order. Door. All right, Gordon. Your <laughs> should keep you comfortable. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the process, <laughs> we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to eighty percent and hold it okay. until the carrier arrives. Whoa. There. I push button. I is the smart. They didn't take me to ten, 10 years of MIT for nothing. I can push buttons. That's what I love about the simplicity of this, too, is all this science and everything, and you basically have to do nothing. Yeah, it ha the audio I'm talking about happens when you go to push the sample in. If you just hang out and don't do anything, it says, What is he doing in there? I think you need to worry about Gordon. They have nominal phaser rays. Yeah, I don't want to go in there. Ooh, that looks pretty good. This is running awesome. Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate in this <laughs> Alright, here we go. I have just been informed that the one oh five percent uh, <laughs> uh, it's probably not a problem 
probably, but I'm sure... Yeah, see, right there is when they should have shut it off, but no. no it's well with the intent. Sustaining sequence. I've just been informed that the sample is ready for it. It should be coming up to you. Wait for it. Look to me. Now, here's where the interesting story, right from the very beginning of the first Half-Life, and they've been stretching this out through the entire series, you are not Gordon. Everybody's in on it, man. Just watch and listen. Standard insertion for a non-standard specimen. I ain't schlopping nothing. Not yet, anyway. What is he doing in there? Nothing you need to worry about. Oh, there it is! Ha 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 ha! Now you know the truth! <laughs> Let's do it! Let's do that! Let's do that! Let's do that! Let's do that! Oh no! I made an oopsie! Oh boy! Oh my! It's not shutting down! Oh my goodness! High ground is better! High ground, high ground, shut it off, go, 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 shut it off, no! Uh-oh, 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 what's happening? What did I do? What did I do? I not dumb, I smart, I go MIT, I win, I get out of the way, duh! And in this half-life, they are not friendly. And that's all the time we have. So I thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next half-life episode where we're going to start shooting the crap out of things. <laughs>